think my camera's working now. I just had to fix it with a glitch. So I'm going to kind of not rush, but try to get through this video so that my camera before my camera decides to glitch on me again. God, I love GoPros, but this one's got some problems. I don't know how. Anyway, moving on. So this video is about my must-watch Christmas movies. Um, I think I'm gonna put five on here. I'm debating between. I've debated between five and four, and I still haven't made up my mind. But I think I'm gonna put five. All right, moving on. First, an honorable mention that is worth watching but isn't on the list. The th all three of the Santa Claus movies starring Tim Allen. Great movies. Go ahead, watch them. But they're not on my list. L moving on, starting, and now, none of them are in any particular order. Except for number one. Number one is at the top because it's my favorite. That's the only reason the other ones are, are in no particular order. <sighs> let's move on. With, let's move on. Starting with my favorite, number one, the Home Alone film. The first one particular. Three, four, and five are okay. Number two is just is good is um, just as good as number one, but I prefer number one over number two. <sighs> I like it because you can watch it at a young age and it's still and it's funny. But when you get older, you begin to see some things that you didn't notice then, like how big of an evil genius Kevin McAllister is, and that he actually enjoys inflicting the torment that he's inflicting onto these grown adults or these other people. With no moral, with no remorse or any guilt shown for the actions that he's done. None. If it were me, I'd be like, sorry, don't want to do this. Well, I wouldn't be like that. I would infl I'd inflict it on them willingly, but I wouldn't enjoy it. It'd be for defense. But he actually enjoys the pain he's inflicting. Yes, I have some iced tea sitting here in case I need a drink. Anyway, it's just good film to watch when you're young, young, still funny when you're older, along with some added stuff that you'll notice. Moving on to number two, The Polar Express. The Polar Express isn't really funny, but it's got some nice intense scenes in it, and it's, it's a nice film to just enjoy. It's one of those films that you sit down with some popcorn and a drink, and you just kind of enjoy it. Home Alone is the kind of movie you can, you watch it, you, you can get popcorn, but it's one of those films you watch with other people, or alone, to get some laughs, or you put it on while you're decorating the tree or something. That's the kind of film I think, that, that's the kind of film I think that is, and I'll, I'll give that for all the films. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is on, is number three on the list. It is, a, it is a movie to watch purely because of how funny it is. It is just a hilarious movie. And that's why it's on it, That's why it's on here. It is another one of those films that you wouldn't necessarily have popcorn with, but you would watch it while you're decorating the tree or something, or for just the laughs. Again, just like Home Alone. But it's still funny. It's still really funny and still a really good movie to watch. Moving on to number four on the list... Disney, doc, not Disney, Dr. Seuss's How How the Grinch Stole Christmas, particularly the original one, 1966, I believe is when it came out. I had to do some research on that because I actually didn't know when that one came out. I know um, the live action one, which was ter which was, I guess, supposedly terrible. It's at like 40-something percent on Rotten Tomatoes, but I can see why they thought that. The, the Who's and Whoville, Whoville didn't look very good. And the Grinch didn't look good either. And I'm also not talking about the 2018 remake. Which I haven't actually seen yet. But I do want to see it. Anyway. The How, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is... It's a movie you can just sit down and watch. But it's, out of all of them, the best suited for, again, decorating the tree, cook, baking cookies, in the background when you have friends over for a party and stuff. That's what I feel that this film is best suited for. Not really sit down, watch to enjoy. Which I've done, and I've enjoyed it. But again, I think that's what this film is better used for. Still worth watching, though, and it is a great Dr. Seuss film. 
Moving on to number five, Disney's A Christmas Carol. Now, this is a film that you probably do not want to show young children unless they've shown and that you agree they're mature, they're mature enough to watch it because this is a particularly dark film. Hang on, how long have I been recording? Okay, five minutes, sorry. I have to check because my memory will get full if I record for too long, which I had happen to me, and that was the problem that I had with my GoPro. Okay, anyway, back on track. There is this, this, um, the scene with Ghost of Christmas Past, that one's not really too dark, but when Ghost of Christmas Present is introduced, it starts to get kind of dark. Um, it seems fun and jolly at first. But in the end, in the end, when his time with that spirit is en is closing, the spirit gets really kind of messed up, disintegrates in front of his eyes, and shows and presents him with two very, n um, I mean, not well taken care of humans, human figures. They're not. They're almost not human. They feel more like. I'm trying to think of a word. can't think of anything to describe it. They're, they're very thin, and they they almost feel more like a humanoid creature with claws than they do with than they do humans themselves. But they kind of morph into full-grown adults. It's really weird, but it's also very disturbing. And then it gets even darker with the Ghost of Christmas Future, which almost makes it look like the Ghost of Christmas Future is trying to kill Scrooge, which is extremely dark, and just not something to show young children unless you think that they can handle it. Um, but it is still a really, really good movie to watch, despite how dark it can be, and I like it. <sighs> Those have been my top Christmas movies. I hope you guys enjoyed this m video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, and peace out. I think my camera...